Uh, let's let f of x, y equal x, i plus y, j. Now that's just a radial field. And we're going to do uh, the integral of f, well, the integral, okay, for any vector field f, um, the integral of f dot ds around a curve is equal to what? Well, f is pi plus qj, if you have a function of two variables, uh, and that's dotted with ds, and that, by Green's theorem, should be equal to the integral over the interior of the boundary of qx minus py with respect to a. And this is what we've seen already, and we've worked it out to see why that's true for small rectangles and how that then builds into bigger regions. The integral of f dot n, n being perpendicular to your tangent vector around a curve, is going to be uh, the integral of px plus qy. Um, and the reasons for that are pretty straightforward. The n vector has, uh, if you will, a slope in two dimensions. It's a negative reciprocal to the slope of your tangent vector. Uh, the negative reciprocal changes the sign of one of these and also changes the inter interchanges the x and the y. And it does so in such a way that this occurs, and you can look at the details of that. Um, in the case of this field, then, you'd have the integral of xi plus yj, your f function, dotted with your normal vector, uh, unit normal, and your unit normal to the unit circle, and we are doing this about the unit circle, and I should probably inform the uninitiated. Um, so on the unit circle, um, 